Juliana, aka Miss Wakanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Before we get started, I do want to make a few pointers, okay? Because I have, if you notice on my channel feed, done black owned reviews before, black owned bathing suit, black owned active wear. There's been a couple of comments about it being specified for black owned, so people make really nasty comments that are unnecessary. I don't care, however, because I'm a proud black woman. I will always, always go hard for me and my people, just like you are welcome to do the same for you and yours. So if you do make those comments, they will be deleted and the greatness will shine on. So now that the eyes are out of the way, let's get into it. I know that people have done this before, but the great thing about black business halls or any business hall is that you don't know who someone else knows so although we may be familiar with the same companies there may be smaller companies that other people are not familiar with that they can start supporting so it's never enough business halls to go over so we all know of fenty beauty crayon case and a bigger black owned brand but there are smaller brands that need some love too and i actually just so happen to know this one here Deja Cosmetics. She has lipsticks and lip scrub. So I ordered this lip gloss and the lip scrub, but I accidentally left the lip scrub in my car. Long story short, Nevada gets really hot. We're in the desert. I could not revive the lip scrub, but I still have this lip gloss, which I really love. It's thick and it, I love that this also moisturizes your lips too versus just giving you the shine and shimmer. She's based out of Chicago, EasyCosmetics.com. Now this is a newer brand I just recently found out about, Sassy Boutique. It's Sassy or Sass? I feel like it's Sassy, I can't remember. I went to a vendor for a small business Saturday for black owned businesses and I purchased this delicious lip gloss it smells so good she has multiple colors she also has clothes purses hats shades she has a lot she's based here in las vegas definitely check her out i really really like this gloss a lot next up we have gold label cosmetics so i discovered this brand about three years ago three and a half yeah, three years ago. I love this brown color. Uh, I'm not gonna put that on right now, but this brown color. What I will say about this particular lipstick, and maybe it's changed, I haven't ordered in three years, but it's a little thin. So this isn't like a matte lipstick, but maybe I'm sure they have matte lipstick options. They've really been growing over the past few years since I've known them. I'm really proud of them. I love to see the growth. So shout out to Gold Label Cosmetics. Now, some of my favorite thing in the world, I love candles, y'all. Like, I love, love, love candles. This is how I know I'm getting old, because I just love to sniff candles. Like, one of my favorite pastimes now is sniffing candles. <laughs> this company is based out of Las Vegas. It's called Savage Candles. I, or, I got the Candy Apple in the Weekend cartoons. Now, can I just say, this one is called Weekend Cartoon. She explained to me that she misses being a child and I have responsibilities, which we can all relate to because being an adult is ghetto and overrated, okay? But the weekends, when, wherever you're from, you're just in the house and watching cartoons and this smells to me like cupcakes and like cereal, like a, almost like a fruity pepper, Captain Crunch kind of smell to it. It's really warm and sweet, and I love that because when you're a kid, you just want to chug on a suit all the time. Oh, I love that one so much. And then this candy apple, I love this one. It's so warm. I love, love warm scents, like perfume, candle, whatever. I love a warm scent. I'm not a really strong scent kind of a person, but I love this one. This one does have a after smell of sneeze, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that to people. Like, to me, sneeze has a smell. Don't you, you smell sneeze, don't you? Right? I'm 
probably just weird. Well, yeah, I am weird, but hey. I don't know how to explain it, but it makes sense in my head. Anyway, Savage Candles is a company here again in Las Vegas that you can support. All right. Next up, we have Aina Earth Candle Company. Luxury soy candles based again in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, went to First Friday a couple of weeks ago and they're the first vendor I saw. And like I said, I went to go sniffing them right away. I love this one. This one is called Sweater Weather. <laughs> and it's so warm, a little sweet. I love it because uh, it just makes you feel warm and cozy. So warm and cozy. I might need to slow down on the candle purchases, but you can never have too many candles. Like, what? Who? What? No, you can't have too many candles. Get you some sweater weather, sis. Now we have Embrace by Kayin. I discovered this brand on Facebook. This girl is a young lady whose mother set her up a small business. Um, I thought that story was really lovely. She's super young and she's into creation. So she has, she made her own company, Embraced by Kayleen. It's vegan. I also ordered the soap bar, but I used it by now. So I don't have that to show you. I love, love, love the body butter. This makes my skin so silky smooth and hydrated and just, oh, uh, like, I don't know how to say it without it sounding funny, but I just be touching on myself. Like I feel so soft and so good. Fresh out of the shower, this is like amazing. It's also great for your hair. I have not put this on my hair, but it does say this is hair and body butter. But I really just love this for my body. Um, cocoa butter, mango butter, shea butter, vitamin E rose oil, essential oil blend vegan cruelty free i really love it. it doesn't have the best smell it doesn't stink but it also it doesn't smell like vanilla or flowers it just smells like body butter but trust me your skin will thank you for putting this on it i also have the oatmeal body scrub i haven't had a chance to use it yet but i can't wait because judging by the body butter i'm sure this will not only exfoliate my skin as it is a scrub but it will leave my body so silky smooth. I'm telling you, this body butter is it. I wish they had bigger jars, but this is like, uh, oh, now that I think about it, I think because I got the oatmeal set and it came with the uh, soap bar, that's why they are small. I'm pretty sure they might have to have bigger sizes than this, but this body butter is A1. Just, just know this is A1. I will use this and I'm pretty sure I'll love it the same. I also have to um, commend their customer service. So. Things happen. Unfortunately, when I first ordered, my entire box had exploded and it was leaking and it was just a mess. So I messaged them right away after having to toss it out and they uh, were very happy to, res you know, resend my, my purchase and my order as well as, you know, take ownership for the situation. They were very apologetic. Uh, very timely and I got this in like I think two days maybe even the next day I got it back right away so the customer service is A1 as well as the product so definitely check out Embrace by Kayleen or Kylene I hope I'm saying it right I'm sorry if I'm not but I do love your body brother next up we have good old honey pot so I must admit that I am new to this brand. I started using this brand in June of this year, 2020, um, maybe even July, I think. Uh, but it was definitely this past summer before I went to my Mexico checkout, Miss Wakanda Takes Mexico, if you haven't already. I am obsessed with this brand. I signed up for their rewards online. I'm all in. I love that this is based off feminine hygiene and that it is plant-based because what people don't know is that a lot of feminine hygiene products are filled with chemicals that are not good for your boom boom your boom boom and so on and so forth which can have long-term effects on your body um, I just wish people knew more about that so I love that 
Honey Pot Co. It's not only black owned, fully black owned, but it's also plant based. This is very important for my lifestyle. If you're subscribed, you know that that's the lifestyle I've been going for for the past year. October 2019 is when I decided to make that transition. It has not been easy, but this product here makes it so easy. So I don't know if this is TMI, but I recently decided that instead of doing the tampons, I'm going to do the cup. I obviously looked on YouTube to make sure I knew what I was doing, <laughs> but um, I like it because it's just so much more convenient. So, so much more convenient. Even for someone like me with a more heavier flow. Again, I don't mean to be like TMI, but women, we need to know this stuff. This is, is, this is life. It is what it is. We bleed once a month. What can we do? I love the cup because this is it's just so much more convenient than having to change a tampon every two hours or every hour, depending on how heavy your menstrual cycle is. So I do have the dual pack as a backup you know, for the lighter days or just in case. You should always keep a box of these, I feel like, in stock, just in case. But, you know, I'm leaning more towards the menstrual cup. This is a lifesaver. I don't care what anyone says, this is a lifesaver. You just have to figure out what's best for you and how you get it going. That's your business. I figured out my way and I love this. Just make sure it's sanitized with each use and you are good to go. This foaming wash, um, I love this very cooling down there um almost like a tingly feeling which is interesting but that's how you know it's working it's doing its job this is to help your ph balance and i like this a lot i also have the normal wipes gotta keep these in stock as you can see i, I have one more in this pack so i have to go to target and get me some more you can also order them online but target has these and that's the only store that I know that actually has these physically there. Um, I do suggest you sign up online for the rewards because you do either get free shipping every now and again or you get special discount codes for being a member. So Honey Pot is the way to go. I wish I knew about this when this first came out, but hey, like they say, it's better late than never. And the slogan here is made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas because it takes one to know one. And sis is on the money with that. Honey pot is the way to go. Next up, we have Roses Natural. Now I am new to this company. I actually discovered this company maybe a week or two ago, like that recent. Um, I found them on a blog, a very popular blog. They had an ad and I saw that they were plant-based and black owned, so I had to give them a try. I uh, ordered these two off Amazon. I had an Amazon gift card, so I was like, hey, perfect. These are available on Amazon as well as their own website. Um, I got the Citrus Burst Body Wash and the Lavender Body Wash. So nothing against them. I'm not a big fan of the lavender scents. Uh, I, just, I just don't care for the scent, but the Citrus Burst smells really good. It's very fresh. Um, not something I would typically typically go for because like I said, I'm into more vanilla, apple, warm scent, but I do appreciate this scent a lot. This soap is really runny and thin, which I was not expecting. So that is a little, uh, but I can live with it. This company also has laundry detergent, dish soap, hand soap household cleaning products, just about everything. And it, again, is plant-based. So I really, really like that a lot. I would love to try out their household cleaning products, but I already had that stocked from other brands. So I will definitely have to do that on the next go around. But this again, Black Owned Roses Natural, and it is plant-based. Last but certainly not least, we have Pure Home Clean. Of course, this is black owned brand and it is also a plant based brand. I'm loving the amount of growth people are getting into different products with plant based and I've just seen like 
Maybe because this past year I've been paying attention more because I decided to go that route that I'm noticing that plant-based can be just about anything. I mean, household products, food, obviously. I mean, there's so much that can be plant-based and I love that. I ordered the free and clear scents and the lavender grapefruit scents as well as the bleach here. I do appreciate the consistency of this detergent. I got the liquid detergent. It smells really fresh. Harley actually has a scent which I prefer. I just don't need my clothes to smell like flowers or candy or fruits. I just don't need that at so, all. Um, this again is a black plant-based line. They also have other products. Um, this soap and so hardwood cleaning different household cleaning products they have it all they have it all i will say they do charge shipping based off the weight so i paid 16 dollars and 50 cents for shipping alone i was not happy about that i don't think that's i don't understand that i have spent however many money on whatever and the shipping was either free or only a few dollars and at a certain point i just feel like why are we even paying for shipping but okay fine i only ordered three things so that's less likely to happen this is also very affordable um as well as the other products i did forget to mention that just about everything i'm showing you is very affordable nothing is breaking the bank or just obscenely expensive yeah that $16.50 really threw me for a loop so what i did was no shame sorry not sorry i end up removing one from my cart to see if that would change the shipping and it didn't so i'm not sure if that's a technical error that maybe they need to look into because there's no way the weight costs the same for two products versus three products. Or maybe it does. Obviously it does because it was going to charge me $16.50 either way. So I ended up just getting a second detergent because, hell, why not at that point? That's, that's something that they don't really care for. But in general, I've had no issues since using it. This is a very recent purchase for me. I've had this a week now. So, but I'm very, uh, very proud that, you know, black people are having plant-based products for everything outside of food. This is recycled. I love that this is recycled. Um, this is a very green, very green brand. And I'm so here for that. So, so, so here for that. Well, folks, that is all for this small haul. I do hope to do this again with other brands. Please leave in the comments other brands that I can support. If you want to send me anything, please hit up my Instagram at Deanna Mirage and I will be more than happy to put you in the next haul. Please subscribe, like, say hi. I say hi back. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned. I do have a few special projects in store that some of you may like more than others, but I'm pretty sure everyone will like my next vlog. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. <laughs>